Hello everyone. Today we're going to be playing a game called Bowling Pin Shuffle or Water Bottle Shuffle. This is a soccer kicking skill. What you're going to need for this game is a ball. Any type of ball. We're using a foam ball here in gym, but if you have a basketball, soccer ball, kickball around your house, you can use that. If you're indoors, you can take a couple pairs of socks and roll them into a sock ball and that will be a perfect option. You're going to need a target for this game. We are using bowling pins. That's why we call it bowling pin shuffle. But most of you at home probably don't have bowling pins. So an empty water bottle, empty paper towel roll, empty bleach wipe container, anything that you can use that can be knocked over. Okay, here's how you're going to set up. You're also going to need some way to mark your different levels. Levels in this game are point values and where you're going to put the pin. So what I did is I took four pieces of paper or index cards and I wrote number one, and I numbered them each one, two, three, and four. So number one is the easiest. It's worth one point. You're going to set it closest to your kicking line. I have two cones here to remind me where to kick from. You don't need cones. This could be anything around your house, a pillow, a shoe, just so you know you're always going to kick from this spot. So for this game, you'll decide where you want to start with the pin, level one. Or I can put it at level two. I put a piece piece of paper down with a number two on it and it's a little bit further away making it more challenging if I knock the bowling pin down on this level it's worth two points a little bit further away I put level three you can decide to put the pin here anytime you knock the bowling pin down on this or your water bottle on this level it's three points and the furthest away is level four in my gym this is about 20 feet away so this is a long kick Anytime I hit the water bottle or the bowling pin down on level four, I will add four points to my score. And what you're going to do is you're going to set your timer for two minutes, and you're going to try to see how many points you can get. So I'm going to demonstrate real quick, see how many points I can get, and we'll see how you do if you can beat me. So I'm going to start with level one. Two minutes. Ready and go. Okay, one point. I'm going to stay there. Two points. I'm going to try level two. And if I hit it here, I'll end up with four points. Missed. I'm going to try level two again. Missed. And you can choose which level you want to use. Okay, I now have four points. I'm going to try level four all the way at the end, see if I can get to eight points. Got it. I am now at eight points. I'm going to go to level two, see if I can get to ten. I have one minute left. I am at ten points. I'm going to try level three. Try level three again. Got it. I am now at 13 points. I'm going to go to level one. Got 30 seconds left. 14 points. Try level two again. points. I'm going to try level three. Actually level four because I have ten seconds left. And I'm at 16 points. Got it. That gives me 20 points. Time is up. Boys and girls, I was able to get 20 points in two minutes playing bowling pin shuffle. I hope you enjoy this game and have a great day. See if you can beat Mr. Chapel.